Um, so we're out here today filming all that is evil. Um, and then I'm, I'm trying to pitch the sequel, All That Is Good. It's going to be a family film, actually. So um, anyway, yeah. Running Slate today. I'm the Slate Master. I mean, what if, what if we had... Andrew, what are you doing, bro? I am digging a hole so that we can put a camera in the bottom of it. Give the perspective of someone, someone looking up out of the hole. Chose this spot because of this really cool tree that's kind of falling apart here. So that's what we're doing. Dope. I focused today is teeth. Prosthetics and nails. And let me show the nails first. So, when we ordered them, they were terrible. Absolutely disgusting. They did not look good. They were too, actually, no, I take it back. They looked too good. They were very clean. They didn't look like, like monster nails. So, I repainted them. So, they look like little cockroach nails. Can you show them to me again? Yeah. That's what you're saying. <laughs> but we try to make them look like rustic and brittle and gross and over um, overgrowth. And then we have the teeth today. So these are the teeth that she'll be wearing. The witch. I'll put those on. And then for these, she has like a scar situation. So what we'll do is we'll just cancel out the colors that's already pre-painted on the prosthetic. When we transfer it, I'll cancel it out and then Make it to her complexion so it looks like a scar instead of an open wound. Right there. And I would say you're looking down at the. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And we'll probably. Thinking, you're thinking, and then let me see some joy for anger. Anger starts to do this one. And then boom. You okay with the rings on? This one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And do you mind giving me a little bit worth. more iris on this one too? More light. There. What he's saying. I'm going to bring yep. up my reflector. That's number one reflector. T2D, take one. Working on setting up a steady cam rig so that we can do some walking shots. So um, we've got here? two camera rigs that we're kind of moving back and forth I between. So. And this is our, right uh, our little um, gimbal rig that we're going to use. Nice. So I know you got the Ursa over there. What camera are you running for this? So because uh, I like to stay in the same ecosystem of cameras, we've got the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro over here, which uh, they could have come up with a shorter name for me. But um, yeah, so in order for us to be able to do color matching and stuff, we're using a Pocket 6K and the Ursa Mini G2. What the hell are y'all doing over here? We are uh, doing stuff, stuff in the woods. Right. Shooting an adult film. An adult film. An adult. And being all artsy about it. Hmm. I mean, that's not gonna be the worst. You could even tilt down a little bit. Like, it doesn't have to be straight yeah. up. Uh, I mean, if we bring the rails completely horizontal, we can get this a lot closer to the tree. Oh, you mean like farther? Yeah. If, well, if the rails are completely horizontal. Oh, 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 would I that, get you. Oh, uh, well, I guess it would still tilt away. I'd have to tilt away more. Yeah. Well, so we could tilt, um, put the camera on reverse and get the top of the camera up against the tree. If that makes sense, you'd be able to get closer if we bring the rails horizontal. So you, oh, I mean, cause another thing you can do is you could pull this down so the rails are sitting up against. Cause right now you're running into this, right? Yeah. If you pull this down, the rails will be sitting up against there. So then you can get all the way in. So yeah. you could use the same setup, but just take this thing and put it farther down. Okay. I'm thinking- Cause we only need a little bit. And I would maybe even shoot this at 120. Okay. I'm thinking we'll be able to get the closest if we shoot upside down though. Does that make sense to you? No, but I really trust and your ability to implement that. Hold on one sec. So what we got going on would be a lot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just got with Silas. We are deciding we're choosing this smaller scar transfer. So it's painted right now, but we're going to cancel it out. That's no worries. So we're more likely going to have the ends of the scar point that direction since she was shot in the face and it was more like a grazed bullet so we're thinking like that type of direction for that theory 
And it will be good placement because it won't get in the way of mobility with her speaking and things like that. Then we're going to do makeup, do complexion, then I bring airbrush on there. Um, then we're going to do her nails. So I'm excited for that. I haven't showed her the nails. So these are the nails you'll be wearing today. Very monster-like. Very crackly. Do you like those? those yeah, I think good? those are great. So we, we'll be doing those. And then uh, you show the dentures? And I will show you the dentures, yes. We have the, the teeth. So they're point teeth. They are. They do have a, a point to them. So those appear when it's snack time. Yes. So they're hard right now, but we'll have to go and soften them, and then they'll fit to her mouth. So okay, we'll be good. Sweet. Yeah, that's what we're doing, and I'm excited. And then we'll tease her hair up. We'll make it more crazy, and then she's in a wardrobe right now, and then we'll put her hat on, Your and she'll be all set. Beautiful. Some. Yes. Hi. How's it going? It's going great. Um, did we, what do you got going we just on? on the arts, we are filming what shots the for the trailer for All That Is Evil. Nice. And what is, what's your character? Yeah. Tell me about your character. My character is Chloe, and she is out for revenge. That is my main purpose in this film. Nice. Why revenge? What because... Did I, what did I ever do to Chloe? <laughs> well, the witch has taken something very important from me. Yeah. Definitely. I want to put an end to her reign of terror. So, how do you, Tammy, as an actor, feel about playing this kind of character? I actually love playing characters that are out for revenge. <laughs> because how many times in your life have you wanted to get revenge on that something that's been done to you? But, you know, in the world we live in, it's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> So, in the film world, we can just go all out. <laughs> yes. Sweet. Um, anything else you want to add? I don't think so, yeah. That's why I think I'll We are fighting the wind and the rain today, but we are getting great shots in between. In between downpours. And it's been so much fun. And working with all these guys and with just the other actors, it's just it's a blast. And we're going to create something very special here. Go ahead and call it. Scene T5F take one. <laughs> Good save. Your slating is. <laughs> <laughs> Second stick, so. <laughs>